morning, we are arriving in Sitka, Alaska, June 5th, 2022, Royal Caribbean, Ovation of the Seas. Once your cruise docks in this beautiful port, this is what you will view. There's complimentary buses that'll take you into the town to enjoy nature walks, waterfalls, excursions. But before we uh, get off the ship, we decide to have some breakfast in the MDR. It's a great thing to do before you get off the ship. Here is the menu to check out. Lots of choices. And here is going to be Paul enjoying his first cup of coffee. And this is what I ordered. I ordered a couple eggs, some roasted vegetables, and some hash browns to start my day. And then Paul, he ordered a omelet with some Swiss cheese and veggies. And of course, a hash brown for him too. And then here we have some French toast, raspberries, and blueberries with some syrup. But stay tuned, later on on our channel, we are gonna do a food review on Royal Caribbean. And this is what it looks like, again, before you get off the ship and down the gangway. There is an excursion right there, right off the port. And then straight ahead, you will see lots of things to get information there's a little information booth there's a place where you can take a picture of the sign sitka alaska and here's a little bit of a close-up for you a lot of people like that information booth is on your right you just go through that little walkway there and then you're going to see right here to your left the buses that'll take you complimentary into the city and over here to your left is an excursion that if you book with Royal you'll get off the ship and go straight to your excursion right there and here is a map that they will give you at that information booth and here's the back of it it has little pinpoints of special places you have to see and here's a full view again of the cruise port. And make sure before you get off the ship, you take your umbrella, a little bit of a rain jacket, and your binoculars. Here we are. We're gonna go have some adventures today, so we'll take you along with us. I think we're just gonna go down the historic uh, Lincoln Street, explore that. For sure, we're gonna do the Raptor Center and uh, we might do a couple other things, no guarantees. We gotta be back today um, on the ship by 4.30, but we've got an appointment to do the observation yes. uh, thing at four. Mm -hmm. Is it four? Yeah, it's four o'clock. Yeah. So we should be back on ship by 3.30. Right now it's uh, 9.45, so we don't have a lot of time today, but we're gonna get out there, walk around and explore. And uh, Royal does a, uh, Raptor tour they charge $80 so we're gonna let you know how much it costs for us to get there if we have to take a taxi or what so we'll bring you along and stay tuned guys let's get out there This is the line that you have to take to the shuttles. The shuttles are right over there. We'll give you a quick look. But the line starts almost from the minute you get off the ship. And it wraps around. So far we've been in line, what, about 10 minutes? Mm -hmm, 10 minutes. So we're about halfway there. So hopefully it won't take more than 20 minutes to get on the shuttle. At this point, I think we're just gonna try to do as much as we can today in town. Supposedly the town's really busy. Today is Sunday, so they're not running buses. There's no taxis to be found, because I wanted just to do a taxi, but we'll kind of give you the 411. And uh, looks like uh, the Raptor Park is pretty far from uh, Lincoln Street where the shuttle's going. So we'll uh, 
we'll take it from there. We're going to just walk around and we're going to try to do as much as we can today. So we'll see you out there. Salmon Derby going on right now. Today's the very last day of the King Salmon Derby. So we've got a lot of charter charter vessels out competing in that. And I believe the current record holding fish of this tournament is a little over 40 pounds. I think it's 40 pounds, five ounces is uh, the current largest king. All right, guys, we made it to Sitka. Here we are. So we're gonna end up, uh, it's about a half a mile to a mile walk to Raptor Park. We're gonna go through the Totem Park we're gonna do the sea walk here, as you can see to my left. And uh, so we're gonna do that walk, we're gonna explore. So this is all uh, on donation and, you know, basically we're just footing it and we're going by footwork. Royal was charging $80 plus for two, uh, it was a person, right? 79 a person. 79 a person, so, and plus, you know, gratuities or whatever else you get thrown on, so. We're going to take you along and let you know how it looks, so let's get on with our walk and we'll let you have one quick look. This is the first spot we enjoyed once we got off that complimentary five-minute scenic bus ride from the cruise port into town. And just remember, if you did not book an excursion from the cruise line, you'll be able to book one once you get off the bus because there's plenty of shore excursion operators lined up waiting to help you or you simply can use that map you received at the dock and what we recommend when you do your on own excursions on these nature walks is to bring a camera sun protection cash binoculars a backpack and an umbrella in case there's a pop-up storm and what to wear hat sunglasses comfortable walking shoes, layered clothing, water, wind resistant jacket. And the first stop we enjoyed was the Sitka National Historic Park. It's the oldest park in Alaska that covers 113 acres right outside Sitka, Alaska. They have over 20 hand carved totem poles scattered around this nature trails. There's a visitor center with information of the park and the totem pole is the main attraction at this park. And remember, there's so many views with unique trees, meadows. It's just so beautiful. Little look here inside the rainforest as we go through the national park. We're going to be walking out through this park and this is part of the way that you go out to the Raptor Center. So when you do an excursion, you don't quite get this experience here, which I think is pretty amazing. So we're kind of doing, we're doing our own thing. And uh, so far it's been beautiful. The smells in here, guys, are just incredible. So, all right, we're going to take you along. We'll see you shortly. If you look closely up in the tree right there, I'll zoom in a little bit, you can actually see an eagle in the tree here over the river. Try to keep it steady. So much wildlife and again guys, the smells here are just incredible. Enjoy the view. Our next stop is at the Alaska Raptor Center. Here at the Raptor Center, we encountered so many beautiful alpine meadows, walking trails, and just listening to those wild birds and the water streams were just so peaceful. 
we definitely recommend if you're in Sitka, Alaska, is to come here. We also learned here at the Raptor Center that they help so many injured birds, including eagles, hawks, falcons, and owls. Their main goal is to get these injured birds back into the wild. And I have to admit, seeing those eagles up close was pretty awesome. Let's take a short walk on one of these walking trails that the Raptor Center has to offer. It's so peaceful. I was surprised there wasn't a lot of people walking around. And here is an area where they're trying to help an injured bird back into the wild. Just the sounds of the nature wildlife is so beautiful. And these are the signs at the top. Uh, they did warn us about bears, but we did not see any, thank goodness. All right, finally made it up to the Raptor Center here in Skipta, Alaska. Beautiful guys out here just off of one of their nature trails here in the middle of a rainforest. Guys, this is beautiful. Got beautiful waterfalls and running water everywhere. And uh, hey, Cindy, why don't you come in and uh, get in the picture here. And uh, Cindy is a big fan of eagles, so we had to come here. I wanted to make sure she got to see this today. And, uh, awesome. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. The weather's great. Uh, normally rains every day here. We've got a 15% chance of rain. It's like in the mid 50s. Actually a great day, guys. So beautiful view behind us and we're enjoying it. So we've got a lot more coming. So stay tuned. We'll see you soon. I just want to give you one more last look at those beautiful eagles. They're just so beautiful. As it should be. Yep. And afterwards, we decided to walk back. And there you'll see Paul on top of the bridge. I think people are still looking for that eagle that was up in the tree earlier. And so many unique trees and meadows. And the foliage is just so beautiful here breathtaking and like Paul said it walking through these nature trails the smells it's just unbelievable we are now in town of Skita Alaska we had an amazing time out here it's like sunny and warm and beautiful. Look at the view, guys. We're walking right down here, right down Lincoln Street. It's just truly amazing. The beauty, guys, is just absolutely amazing. And just the smell of all the trees and everything is just too cool. All right, so we're here at Ernie's Saloon in Skitta, Alaska. And I've talked to a couple of people out on the street and they told me I got to get the duck fart. It looks like Crown Royal and something else. 
Uh, it's just a shooter. I'm doing, uh, I think, a Bud Light. And what are you getting, Cindy? Uh, Mos Moscow Mule. Mule, okay. Yes. So Cindy's doing a Moscow Mule there. I'm getting a beer and what they call the duck fart here. I guess they're known for it. So I'll put the menu up here so you can see where we're at. There we are, my friends. All right, we'll see you in a minute with the duck fart. Boom, here we are guys. Fuck, it was an awesome day. It was. <laughs> I had to stop myself from cursing there, but man, it's an amazing day, guys. This is the place right here for drinks, right behind me, man. Great Alaskan brew. We've had uh, amazing duck farts. And man, if you haven't tried duck farts, stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, because we're gonna be doing that on the Sip and Grind. That was really cool. And the hospitality in there is awesome. The guys that work behind the bar are yep. totally awesome. James, did you catch the lady's name? I did not, but she has a dog named George, and he's yep. a beautiful dog. Yep, George was chilling with yeah. us, so we were having drinks with George and uh, Missed everything. Missed our baby at home. Yep, exactly, <laughs> so everything was cool. Guys, highest recommendation to this place right here for two drinks. Two thumbs up. Yep, two thumbs up. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we had a great time here. And check this out. The sun's out here today. Got the volcano out there behind us. So pretty cool. Yeah, you don't get many sunny days here. So we're lucky guys, we're blessed. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the ship. Bye. After we got back on the ship, we decided to have some lunch. So we went up there and grabbed a slice of pizza, which you can see there's lots of choices. My choice was a vegetable pizza, and look at that salad I got at Cafe 270. Made my way. It was yummy. Afterwards, we actually had a appointment scheduled for the North Star. Just a reminder, a lot of times it is complimentary in port days. Here's a few views of being in the North Star. And here next is a, a top view of actually an overview of the pool area. And next, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you get off of the North Star. That's how small it is. Afterwards, we decided to go get ready for dinner, so we listened to some live music before dinner. And here's our view at our table. Paul had the crispy buttermilk calamari. We both enjoyed the shrimp cocktail and the iceberg wedge salad. Paul had the roasted beef tenderloin with mashed potatoes and asparagus. He loved it with horseradish sauce. And I had the lemon butter baked cod with fluffy citrus rice. All the fish dishes in the MDR were yummy. Afterwards, Paul had some carrot cake for dessert. And my choice was a souffle with some sauce. It was really good. All the desserts were really good in the MDR too.
then we decided to go to one of the live shows that Royal had to offer on our cruise. <laughs> Be I T V.